Friday. I feel good. I am treating myself a Starbucks because I work two 10 hour days. My dogs are with me, Fieldy, and then Cannoli's back there too. It's freezing cold. Let's head to Starbucks. It's gonna be a good day. Well, that was one gigantic dud. I went to two different Starbuckses and the cars were out the parking lots. There's no way. So I spent 30 minutes for a nice drive with my dogs. And I seen a dead hawk. And I'm pretty sure that has to mean bad luck or something. Remember when I said it was gonna be a good day? Why are there signs pointing to not being a good day? Well, I also don't have creamer in the house, which is awesome. So... They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. Okay, I'm not gonna let it bother me. I was gonna go to Terra Mia Coffee, but I couldn't remember where it was at. So I'm gonna figure out my caffeine situation. <laughs> I have to get to work. I clocked in for an hour, clocked out. Now I'm clocking back in. I was hoping to do some nice work with a, a nice coffee, but it's not gonna end that way. what she brought me. This is the brown sugar shaken espresso with blonde roast. I haven't drank coffee and I actually was starting to feel like a little bit of a headache right here because I think withdrawals. That's what happens when you have an addiction. I was gonna drink tea. It's like yerba mate with black tea. So much better. They put a buttload of ice. Like the ice is all the way at the top. I'm gonna continue to drink this. I have 30 more minutes till I have lunch time and that means four hours till I go out. Have you guys seen that TikTok when I was like, how do you have properly shake with the new tops? And she's like, I'm not gonna do that. I tried it once. <laughs> of course I had to try it. I'm done with work. Yeah. Andy's here. We're gonna try this new dumpling place. Or I don't know, is it new? No, I don't think it's new. Yeah, I think uh -oh. it's been there for a while. And then afterwards, I think we're gonna go to Downtown Disney's. I've never been to Downtown Disney either. And I've never had dumplings. It's a lot of first. Yeah, I'm surprised that you've never been to Downtown Disney. Like, but you've been to Disney before, right? I've been to Disney for like band. So when you're with band, I mean, you don't get to like just chill oh, and hang true. out with people. Yeah, yeah. We'll try this dumpling place, see how dumplings are. Shanghai pork wonton soup. This is marinated cucumber salad. Can I do it? Can I do it? Oh, I can do it. <laughs> yeah, don't drop it. <laughs> oh god. That was very good. But I'm still shaking from all those espresso shots. Look at my hand, it won't stop shaking. Hi? Okay, I'm on my last little dumpling. My cheeks always get so red. Well, mine are red 24-7. Yeah, I'm like, why are they so red? Mm. I'm not shaky anymore though. Why is oh, uh, a little bit, so very little. <laughs> like if you were a surgeon, this one not work out right now. You have arrived. We are going to Disneyland. I'm just kidding. We're too poor for that. More like, yeah. <laughs> Expensive. No. The, che the cheapest annual pass is like six, seven hundred dollars. Not only that, how hard is it get an actual ticket? It's like insane. The, the process is just ridiculous. Yeah, it is. I don't know where we're going. I'm following Andy, and Andy's just I'm following, following the, the arrows, arrows on the. So don't follow. <laughs> Let's see what there is to do. At least it's not raining. It's like the only day this weekend that's not raining. So yeah, it's kind of that's weird. cool. <laughs>
This place is actually really big. This one's cute. Cool. These are all so cute. Wait, does it play music? I think it plays music. This store in here is huge. It just keeps on going, guys. Oh, this is like all 100. Guys, they have head apparel. So we're gonna do these collectibles. We're gonna buy my sister all eight. So these are all of them she's gonna get. If you guys remember my zoo video, my sister got the, oh, it does it for you. Usually you can, you can spin it yourself, but I guess this one you don't. Oh my God, they're warm and shiny. They're so shiny. We'll haul these afterwards. Honestly, the store is pretty big, a lot bigger than I expected it. <laughs> Whose gigantic head would that fit? Uh, Hagrid. Hagrid? <laughs> Arnold, Arnold from Hey Arnold. Football or Stewie from Family Guy. That's Football true. Head, yeah. So they have like a Star Wars store and look at how cute this is. It looks very unique. It's like, no. Oh. <laughs> how cute. Oh my God, is there actual lightsabers here? Wow. Very on theme. I, I, I'm, what do you like? You like pick out your lightsaber over there? Is it kind of like the wand, the Harry Potter wand thing? These earrings are so cute. Look at them. We're leaving now. Like, if you're like a collector, I think it would be a good spot oh, no, to yeah, go. Oh yeah, definitely. Because there was like a lot of collector pins. No, that Lego store alone was super cool. <laughs> I really like that Lego store. Yeah. I was just amazed at all of the big old Lego statues. Yeah, that was insane. Really, like, how long does that take? Exactly. There was no hot cocoa. I wanted hot cocoa. I kept <laughs> telling Andy, I was like, when we were eating dumplings, I was like, oh, I'm gonna just wait and save my appetite for some hot cocoa. I could have gotten boba, but I did get my sister those coins, those pennies. So what I was trying to say is I never posted the vlog when we went to Denver, but she got this pamphlet. I mentioned it in my zoo video. She got this like pamphlet and you can like collect pennies from everywhere. It has like different locations. You can go collect them. So anytime I see them, I try to get them for her now. Update, we're gonna watch a movie like 25 minutes hopefully if there's seats so we came to AMC and we're gonna try to watch Megan so I think we're lost we can't find theater 9 there is no theater 9 it doesn't exist oh I got a slurpee and some pretzel bites um... Good morning guys. It's the next day. It is raining now. I slept until about 9.30 because this boy wanted me to let him out. We're usually up at what, seven? So he was not down for me sleeping in. So I had to get up, but there's no creamer in the house still. We're not gonna go get creamer. We are gonna go get Starbucks. Technically, I didn't buy Starbucks yesterday. Technically, my mom did, so I think we're still fine. And I haven't had coffee. And I didn't have more coffee yesterday. I wanted boba so badly. My head's kind of hurting a little bit. So, let's go get coffee. <laughs> so it's raining out and I told the dogs no they couldn't come my dad's like oh you already told them they can come so he started carrying the little guy and I was like really so then I of course I had to take cannolis now we brought both dogs and we have to carry them back in the house must be nice dogs we're gonna take on NFL uh, playoff predictions okay 49ers Seahawks Niners. Okay, Niners. That's what I think too. Chargers, Jaguars. Ooh, tough, tough, tough. I think they said that was going to be the closest matchup. Yeah, I love sunshine, but I think we're going to have to go with uh, Chargers on that. Okay, Chargers, Bills, Dolphins. <laughs> oh, I really thought the Bills were going to come out and choke, but it's against the Dolphins, so I think they're not. <laughs> yeah, without two, it's going to be Bills. Tampa, Cowboys. Oh. <laughs> as much as I would like Tom Brady to get knocked out in the first round, <laughs> I have no faith in the Cowboys and I think Tampa will pull it out. I think it'd probably be the Cowboys. I think Brady's gonna choke. Giants, Vikings. Oh, Vikings. I think so too. Okay, what about Bengals, Ravens? There's no Lamar Jackson. I don't think it would matter. Yeah. Worlds is going back. So just Cowboys, we're the, that's the one we're against. 
I, th- I really think Cowboys can pull it off. I think Brady's going to choke. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just wishful thinking because <laughs> I can't stand the Dallas Cowboys. Yes, I said it. I said it out loud. If anybody has a problem with it, I'll give you my address. No, don't give me my address. <laughs> I live with you. <laughs> okay, but we're going to get our Starbucks. That's our NFL Pick matchup. of the week. Game should start in about two hours. Sadly, we're not in Santa Clara. We're supposed to be in Santa Clara today. Yeah, Hopefully, I've seen the 49ers. I seen this morning waking up, and it said that there's extreme thunderstorm warnings. I guess it's good that we weren't over there. Road, yeah, it's probably and stuff. not a good time to be sightseeing uh, coming down the coast when yeah. uh, the mountains are falling. <laughs> falling <on you. laughs> also, I remember when I said yesterday was going to be a good day, and I started in the night, didn't get Starbucks. Both Starbucks were packed. And then I seen a dead hawk. It was Friday the 13th yesterday. Pause. Can, can I have two medium? Can I have a Yeah. I didn't even notice. It was Friday the 13th yesterday. I should have not been driving at all. If I would have realized it was Friday the 13th, I would have saw those signs in the morning and have just stayed in my room. But I'm glad because now it shows you that. I still believe, I mean, that wasn't a coincidence that I couldn't get Starbucks yesterday. Well, I guess mom got me Starbucks, but I personally couldn't get Starbucks. And then seeing a dead hawk in the middle of the road? It's all coincidental. Life is what you make of it. Yeah, yeah. Just saying. Football time. <laughs> you can see it here? Well, you can't see it because it's like overexposed. But it's raining here and it's super sunny in Santa Clara. They're even saying, what is supposed to be raining? Cats and dogs over here, but look at that beautiful sky. I could have been in Santa Clara watching this game live. But no, apparently the weather was bad. Good morning guys, it's the next day. I haven't talked to you guys this morning because we are going to a morning clipper game. Of course, I was making fun of my dad and saying that he's always the one that's running behind and I am. I touched up my hair as in like, I put water in, I try to refresh it and it's not drying. We have to leave in like 14 minutes, I'm not dressed yet. I just realized that my jacket that I got for Christmas for my little brother is really wrinkly. I didn't think about it last night. I was so exhausted last night, I just went to bed. So that's why I didn't even inform you guys of what happened and I was searching for like a beanie I couldn't find it so now my room's a mess because I pulled out all my containers and I started taking out of them so my room's a disaster right now this is what happens when I'm looking for something and so my sister just let me borrow hers it doesn't quite fit my head so we'll see if I wear it I'll talk to you guys in a little bit I need to change as quickly as possible because then my dad's gonna make fun of me and say that I'm the one that's always running late when it's always him and I wish I didn't have this conversation with him this morning because now he's gonna be like see I told you <sighs> This is my new windbreaker I got. Sadly, Morris isn't playing and that sucks because it's his bobble head giveaway day. Hopefully we don't lose. The Rockets are not that good. So if we lose to this game, that's kind of sad for the Clippers. Something's wrong with that billboard. No respect in LA we get. It's supposed, I think it's supposed to be Kawhi and PG. Yeah. It says one of a kind and we got two. So there's a watch party going on at that Tom's bar. I don't know what vlog it was, but we ate there. It was pretty good, just a little pricey because it's right outside of the Staples Center. But yeah, there's like a soccer watch party going on right there and it's like so loud. It sounds like bongos the way that the, like the deep of it is, but we're actually here pretty early. Got here like an hour early, which is crazy. We're usually like, oh my God, 20 minutes. So we'll definitely be able to get our bobble head.
right now is fighting. Martin and Easton are going at it. Look at that, regular season, career high. Wow. It's because my sister's here, that's why. These were the kids that were screaming earlier for Bobby. There's Bobby. What's up guys? It's much later now. I think it's like 12 o'clock. Started raining again. It was freezing in downtown LA. Like so cold. We were gonna go out to eat but I think all of us were pretty tired. That's one thing about Clipper games is that the crowd is kind of lame. I know a lot of Charger fans got a little angry with me on my previous video when I said I'd rather go to Rams games because the fan base is much more lively than the Charger fan base, okay? And I'm a huge Clipper fan. Clippers are my team. They were like what introduced me to the sports world. I go to games and I cheer and I have a good time. But honestly, like most of the fans there are so lame. Like my dad was screaming and you could hear him on the other side, like his echo. I'm sorry. We're, they're just not good fans. I think it's because like uh, the Staples Center isn't really our home. I think once we have the Intuit Dome, hopefully we start developing a fan base because it'll actually be a Clippers home. And then also we need like that ring. There's just like my dad, I don't know, he's said that like going to basketball games in other states the team is much more lively he said LA is just like never really had those good fans they show up late you'll see fans like come literally halftime leave fourth quarter like you're literally watching third quarter and that's it it's pretty sad but anyways what I was trying to say is I got pretty tired after that game so we came home we watched the second half of the Vikings uh Giants game and the Vikings so we were wrong on that prediction yesterday the Chargers we were wrong on that prediction. You guys remember all of my mess? Look at all nice and clean, minus my desk. My desk is like a bunch of little things that I need to put away, I need to do my laundry. I even put out my carpet again, which I'm not liking anymore. Don't mind my printer hanging for its life, but look at all clean. I do need to put my Christmas tree away. I'm kinda waiting on that because I really don't want to. Nice and clean in here, guys. When I was at the game, I signed up for Clipper Vision. It's basically like their, you can watch all their games and things like that, but I was having problems signing up with myself. So I was talking to a guy at the game and he was able to help me out. So I was able to sign up for it. And um, they give you a free jacket when you signed up, which is, I really wanted the jacket really badly because it's like a windbreaker. So let's unbox this. So it's this black windbreaker, LA Clippers Basketball Club so cool and then then we got the morris bobblehead so you know what time it is time to put it up on the shelf if you guys haven't seen my other videos i'm just not like those collector like i collect things but i don't see what's the point of keeping them in the boxes i like to display my stuff i'm not looking to like really resell or anything like that this is merely for me this is why i don't mind taking them out of the packaging this is the Marcus Morris bobblehead. I do not have a Marcus Morris bobblehead. His head does not quite bobble. Let's put him up on the shelf. I'm super happy to have a Morris. I really love Morris. He's so cool. It's a funny story. When he played with Boston, I hated him so much. And then when we found out we acquired him, I was so angry. First game with the Clippers, I was like, this dude is amazing. It's funny how like your, your attitude towards a player changes once you're traded to your team. If Draymond Green gets uh, traded to our team, I can't say I would feel the same way. I think those feelings are deep rooted dislike. Let's add Morris to the shelf. Thank you for spending the weekend with me. I'm not sure if I'm doing anything tomorrow. I think I'm gonna do some returns and just relax because I do have tomorrow off, MLK day. So I'm probably gonna just take the day to relax and rejuvenate so get prepared back to get to work. So I'm gonna say bye here. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys next time with another video.